It's one of those beautiful sunsets here in Honolulu, Hawaii, in front of Diamond Head at the elegant Royal Hawaiian Hotel at the gala for the American Psychological Association Foundation that provides funding for important research and projects that are so crucial to the field of psychology. APF provides a place for young people young psychologists, students, early career psychologists to get funding to launch their careers which they couldn't get anywhere else. Because people can get a grant when they're in their mid-40s or middle of their careers, but when they're in the early stages, there really isn't anything for them. And APF is the one organization that provides it. But this is a great view. We're so excited. We could only support 6% of the applications we received. Too many applications from worthy and talented students and early career psychologists were left on the table. It was clear we needed to build the foundation's capacity and bolster our grant making. So tonight, I am excited to announce the campaign to transform the future. So our campaign goal is to raise at least $5 million by 2016 and make $1 million in grants annually. And fortunately, thanks to many of you, we are well on our way to transforming the future. And tonight, I am extraordinarily happy to report that we have already raised more than $3 million towards our goal. The receipt of the ACON scholarship from the APF not only allowed me to both cover the cost of advertising for recruitment, but also to pay families for participating in the study, increasing my options for obtaining a broad sample of infants. I am here today as a clinician, a scientist, and as a teacher because the APF fostered an investment in my career. I received the visionary grant in 2009. It was a pilot project that I conducted looking at a micro lending program that we were initiating with domestic violence survivors in New York City. After that pilot project, we were able to do a longer term scientific investigation of the effects of this micro lending program. We published that finding recently in the American Journal of Orthopsychiatry. I was a recipient um, several years ago of an APF award that allowed us to start our intervention work in West Africa. We've been tracking a cohort of over 500 young people who were affected by the civil war there. Um, since they were the age of 10 to 17. Uh, I think the original grant was 10,000. So it was a seed grant, enough to forge some relationships, start to conceptualize uh, the intervention. It's my pleasure to thank our major campaign donors. APA Division 39, Psychoanalysis. Division 13, Society of Consulting Psychology. And Drs. Kurt Geisinger and Janet Carlson. Dr. Jerry Kutcher, Rod Lowman, and Lyndon Richardson, and Pearson, Dr. Florence Denmark, <laughs> Dr. Judy Kuriansky, <laughs> Dr. Dorothy Campbell, a name I expect most of you will recognize. Dr. Norman Anderson. I'm so proud to be an innovator transforming the future for the American Psychological Foundation to just support young people. I love students. I love early career professionals. I was blessed by having so much support when I was young. I want to pass it on and give young people a chance to fulfill their dreams. They have so much to give to our cherished professions. Uh, it's a credit to the whole world of psychology. The psychologists have got together to raise funds themselves, and particularly to look to the future. If we can't count so much on federal agencies, we can count on the foundation. 
and APF is the one chance we have to really help young psychologists establish their careers and do something really terrific and realize their ambitions. The importance of giving to APF is every dollar you give gets multiplied by doing good for students, for, for young psychologists, for research, uh, and it's really an amazing escalation of a little bit of money into a lot of positive happiness and, and positive gain for psychology. And if you get big money, then you really get big return. So give a lot of money! Around for six years, we were started in 1953 by four past presidents of the association. The number of um, granting opportunities and the amount of money that we've been able to fund has grown substantially in the last 20 or 25 years. When is the application? And you can go on our website and there's requests for proposals for each grant. So you can see which one requires what and then depending on your uh, field of study and the area of psychology that you work in, we do have some specific grants that are geared towards uh, certain types of psychology and psychology research and then we do have some more general grants as well. I'm going to tell my friends. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. Um, start small. I think the most important thing is to find a place you really love and stick with it and um, commit. And if you do that and have good partnerships, you'll get to where you want to go. I would advise other young people to definitely apply for the award. Um, I've learned a lot, I've met a lot of wonderful people, and um, I've received a number of grants since um, obtaining the award, so it definitely sets you on a positive trajectory for your career.